This is ABC 12 News at 530. Well, they are on the ballot. A judge's ruling paves the way for five people running for Village of Mayville president or trustee seats to be on the November ballot. Yeah, we told you earlier this week how the village went to court to have the five people off the ballot, but this ruling will most not, likely not end the controversy. It was clear there were no violations. Michael Phil, one of five people who are happy with Judge Gerald Prill's ruling denying the village of Mayville's request for a preliminary injunction to keep Phil and the others off the November ballot. Arguments were heard in court on Monday. I'm very excited that this frivolous lawsuit is over. I'm just wondering what she's going to pull next. She is village manager Barbara Valentine, who the five people believe is behind the effort to keep them off the ballot. Judy Chesney and Phil are running for village president. The third candidate is Christine Valentine, Barbara Valentine's niece. The village claims Phil did not sign his name properly on paperwork, while Chesney and the three others have debts to the village, mainly for unpaid Freedom of Information Act requests. Bill Barkowska is running for a trustee position, has paid the debt, but the village says not before filing his paperwork. He fears he could win, but heard Barbara Valentine has made this statement. It doesn't matter if they win or not. We're not going to swear them in because of that $10.91. The village uh, certainly respects the judge's ruling. We're disappointed by the result. Adam Flory is the attorney for the village who says the village council, not Valentine, is behind the push to keep the five people off the ballot. The village is simply enforcing the law. We have no authority to waive requirements that have been passed by our state legislature. Flory says the village will most likely appeal this ruling. The Mayville Five say this is election interference, a waste of taxpayer money, and lay the blame squarely on Valentine. We can't let her get away with harassing citizens, taxpayers. I could not reach Barbara Valentine for comment. Late this afternoon, the Election Commission approved the Tuscola County ballot with the five people on it. Flory says the village will appeal.